Today, Rick and I are just wrapping up our Charleston, South Carolina workshop. We're going to share some images and a few little stories from the road. So Rick and I sitting here in Charleston, we're going to do our final set of image reviews and some editing in a little bit with the workshop crew. Right. Uh, Have a nice little dinner afterwards, celebratory dinner with everyone. We've had a really great last four, we're on day five right now, days here in Charleston, both walking through the old historic city yeah. and photographing a lot of wildlife yes. and birds. swamp land land there's yeah. been tons of birds swamps gators gators <laughs> and i think it's been a bit of a highlight for everybody just being yeah. out you know with david archer who's such a wildlife master and, and he knows this town he knows this he town. knows this town it's been yeah. kind of a pleasure this is the first charleston workshop i've done with you guys right you know you've been going off on them by yourself for the last few years and it was nice <laughs> to finally come and and do one yeah and we really did get some great images we did wonderful crew of people yeah uh from all over a number of regulars yeah, only really one person who hadn't been yeah. on a workshop before yeah. um but everybody did great work and it was fun because from my perspective we were able to photograph birds for a couple days in a row at this big swamp garden where they're nesting yeah. And you had larger birds at a distance moving, egrets and herons and osprey and some other faster moving birds, crocodiles, or not crocodiles, alligators. Alligators, yes. Here in the south, not down in Africa. <laughs> so, alligators. Uh, we even had some alligators block our passage of a yep. couple. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, it was fun then to go to the Center for Birds of Prey. Yes, that, that, that was actually, that's been the highlight for me this trip. Um, you know, we spent all morning with this in this wonderful place where these people do great work in mm -hmm. terms of rehabilitating injured, injured birds. birds. Mm -hmm. um, they're doing some a bunch of species stuff that's really great. Um, they brought out a bunch of birds, some of which could fly, some of which couldn't. Mm -hmm. um, it was great for everyone. We saw, you know, we saw hawks, we saw kestrel, mm -hmm. burrowing owl, which seemed to be the highlight of the uh, of the birds of prey. Burrowing thing. owl was it? Adorable. Yes, it was adorable. Um, and flying the birds for us, I mean, yes. it's it's challenging having birds, fast-moving birds, flying close to you. Yeah, and that, I think that was, for me, anyway, that was kind of the, the, I mean, that was definitely the highlight for me, but it was great practice because I'm not a bird guy. Yeah. You know, it was right. one of the reasons I gave up the A1. You know, it was right. like, I don't need that. But yesterday, when we were doing this, I mm. could have used that A1. I, w I, I would have been happy if I had that A1 with me. But... <laughs> I think it was just nice to have enough repetition multiple yes. days that I'm able to go through and work with each person and work on settings yeah. and make sure that they're understanding, you know, the kind of mechanics of capturing. You know, the, and the other thing that was reassuring to me is, you know, I always look at David Archer as just being such a master of bird <laughs> exactly. photography. Yeah. He is. Sitting with him and having an owl fly right at us and looking at my camera and saying, wow, I missed that whole sequence. And David saying, so did I. <laughs> I felt, I was like, okay, so I don't have to feel so bad. You know? <laughs> yeah, but I, everyone loved it. We, uh, you know, we also did a bunch of sort of just walking around town. Yeah, you know, which was outside the comfort zone of a lot of people. I mm -hmm. mean, many people who come on our workshops are really there for sort of landscape and wildlife photography, right. and and it was fun to watch people stretch. Uh huh. It was really fun to watch people stretch. You Details know? and old yeah. architecture and street photography, yeah. and it's such a really wonderful, conducive place for all of that. With a bunch of good food thrown Great in food. Yeah. to do so. Yep. I'll have to store up some of that food for Yellowstone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But we're going to eat well in Cuba. And yes, this has will. been good practice for Cuba. Yep. And we're heading to Cuba soon. Yes, very soon. Really soon. Yep. So, well, this has been a good one. It's just about wrapped up. We're going to go photograph the Ravenel yep. Bridge tonight. And uh, I'm assuming we'll get some good images. I'll throw those in too. It's a really fun. Uh, landscape shot of modern architecture yeah. in this beautiful old city. I really think it's a beautiful bridge. So, all right, good food. Go look at people's images from the birds of prey, which I'm excited to see. Yeah. All right. All right. I hope everybody stays safe, stays creative. We'll see you next week.